Hi, I'm Tom Laux, Wisconsin Rapids Community Media Coordinator for the City of Wisconsin Rapids. And this is your senior informational segment. And today I have Aaron Johnson from the ADRC. And we're gonna talk about the Project Lifesaver of Wood County. Thanks for joining me, Aaron. Thank you. Tell me more about this program, uh, something that you do here out of the Centralia Center. And uh, I think people would wanna know more about Project Lifesaver. Excellent, thank you. Project Lifesaver is a program that's designed for people who have a cognitive impairment like Alzheimer's disease, traumatic brain injury, um, Down syndrome, who might be inclined to unintentionally wander away from home and get lost. Okay, um, if someone wants to get involved with this program, do they contact you? Do they come during the hours of eight to five here? Can you let them know, please? Sure, definitely. If someone is interested in this program, essentially it's a tracking program for those people who are inclined to get lost um, from home. And what they can do is they probably have a lot of questions and wondering how the program works and if it would be a good fit for their family member or loved one that they're caring for. So I would encourage them to call our office and they can talk with me about the program. I can answer their specific questions. Um, our phone number is 715-421-0014, 421-0014. And um, I can talk with them about the program, answer their more specific questions, um, and then help them through the enrollment process. There's an application that needs to be filled out. We have a form that would need to be filled out by the individual's physician, indicating that they are inclined to wander. Um, and then we collect some other information on the person. So if they were to go missing, um, we've got that information for the search teams that would then be doing the rescue part of trying to find the person. So we've got an application process that I'm happy to help them through. Well, Erin, you're holding this device that we see. I believe it goes around your wrist. Is that right? Tell us a little bit about this device. Definitely. This is called the transmitter for the program. We have a transmitter that the individual who's enrolled in the program wears either around their wrist or their ankle, whichever is more comfortable for them. And that's something that we can rotate from wrist or ankle to. So sometimes in the summer, they prefer it around an ankle or a wrist. Um, and in the winter, they might prefer it on a wrist in case they're wearing boots. But um, this, there's a little device in here that emits a radio frequency signal every second that's specifically um, connected with that person who's wearing the device. So if they were to go missing, this is what's emitting the signal that our rescue equipment picks up, and that's how we track the individual who might be missing. So this is water resistant, so individuals who have it on can still shower, they can still wash dishes, they can still go swimming. Um, they, they're still able to do those activities. And um, there's a battery in there that needs to be changed once a month. And we've got someone from the sheriff's department who comes out and changes that battery for families and puts a new band on the device too. Alrighty, well that looks like a, a nice little unit that helps uh, family members, a little bit of peace of mind, is that right? Yes, definitely. It's a nice, uh, nice peace of mind for those times when you can't always be there to watch exactly what's going on. Alrighty. Well, Aaron, is there anything else that I may have missed about this Project Lifesaver of Wood County? This You have a whole brochure that they can come and get as well? Yeah, definitely. We've got brochures, so if anyone's interested, I encourage them to contact our office. I can give them a brochure. I could send a brochure in the mail, answer specific questions about the program, um, and just help them through that process and figure out if it's right for the family now, maybe down the road. Um, but it's definitely a great option, especially if someone is inclined to wander from home, just to help keep them safe. Alrighty. Well, thank you, Erin, for sharing that information for our seniors here in Wood County. Oh, thank you.